Tesla develops nuclear-powered vehicles technology. As most of us know, internal combustion engines are in the past because more eco-friendly technologies, such as electric cars, are becoming more popular. However, did you know there was actually a long history of attempts to develop nuclear-powered cars in the past as well? I know it sounds outlandish, but it's all true, and it's done by none other than Elon Musk. He's been building nuclear-powered cars for years. Sounds exciting, right? Well then stay tuned to know more about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hit the like and for more such Tesla related news, subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's get started. It's not new to think about nuclear cars. Ford built a 3 8 size model of a car with huge fins, the Nucleon, in 1957. That could go 5,000 miles on a radioactive charge. Uranium fission powered a steam generator and steam powered the turbines. But there wasn't much storage space since the reactor was in the trunk. But suppose two of these buggies collided, then there have to be a 10,000 year quarantine on the accident site. However, Musk is building a nuclear powered car that is safe as a design exercise for what a car that can last 100 years without maintenance could look like. The Tesla Model N is fueled by nuclear energy. Despite the lack of a working thorium fueled reactor, one researcher says that it's not too far away. Musk is making a prototype of a laser powered by thorium that can power a car and produce zero emissions. As opposed to small thorium powered nuclear reactor, Musk's prototype uses a high intensity laser powered by thorium called the Max for Laser. Musk says that the Max for Laser laser beam turns water into pressurized steam, spinning a turbine and generating electricity. This system is capable of producing 250 kilowatts, equivalent to 335 horsepower weighs about 500 pounds and fits under the hood of a car. In theory, that sounds great, but in reality, how realistic is it going to be? Well, nuclear scientists have praised thorium as a better nuclear fuel source than uranium, and some have given lectures at Google and TEDx about it. Researchers in China are testing thorium as a potential fuel for nuclear reactors because it's less radioactive and more plentiful. Putting thorium in a nuclear reactor is one thing, but putting it in moving cars is another. Theoretically, thorium-powered nuclear reactors could fit in a car, but none have been built. Musk's systems turns water into steam using a thorium laser, which could be used in cars. While Musk didn't provide any photos or feasibility studies, he did tell that his team built the Max for Laser in 2008 and is working on integrating it with a modified Tesla turbine and generator. There is no surprise that the Nucleon didn't make it to a full-sized prototype. Such was the nuclear optimism of the too cheap to meter, 1950s, that it didn't make. Although the new car is completely different from the other older ones, it is still going to make a lot of people a little nervous after Fukushima. In Musk's statement, he claimed that a thorium car would have zero emissions and it would never need to be recharged. In comparison, one gram of thorium contains all the energy in 7,500 gallons of gasoline, and 8 grams can provide enough power for a car to travel 300,000 miles on one fill of gas. Despite for the first time in history, Musk's car has a style that recalls Star Trek and is named the World Nuclear Fuel Concept. As of yet, the spacecraft does not possess any actual thorium on board, but it could theoretically have some on board. It's also likely that Musk doesn't have a working model, since he's having a hard time integrating the laser with the turbine and generator as well. My guess is that there would be also some minor challenges that he would need to overcome to get his car licensed. As of now, Musk hasn't set a date for when this prototype should be ready. It remains to be seen whether this technology will ever be used in the future. It seems, however, that based on his past posts on forums and news websites, he has been touting this system for years despite the fact that he claimed that auto manufacturers would be able to install it in new vehicles within two years. However, Musk may be able to produce a car that is powered by thorium, but it is likely to raise safety concerns regardless of whether he succeeds. However, Musk is known for his ability to prove everyone wrong. Hopefully, he will again prove everyone wrong with this vehicle. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and for the latest updates, press the bell icon. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.